Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with me, Mr. Chumbly Warner. And me, Jason Bangers, and today we're going to talk about a PZM. So this is the mic we you normally use. This is the Shure Beta 91A. This is a boundary mic. When tidying up the studio, we found a realistic PZM. Absolutely, yeah, a real treasure. And it is a boundary mic, so we thought, let's try it. Let's see what it sounds it, like. It should should do the same job. Let's just check for noise floor. Well, looking at the meter, there's nothing that's silent. Excellent. And obviously this one, got an XLR on, so we plug it directly into the camera. But how have we done it this week? Well, I haven't got an idea why I've connected it into the camera, because it's jack. And I've got some jack to Canon adapters, but it introduces too much noise. So we're going directly straight into a Zoom H6. Ooh, let's just make sure it's still rolling because I'm sure I pushed a button there. So uh, these things are great. They're used all over the world by videographers, producers, sound engineers. Great for field recordings. But for now, we're just going straight into that. And I will confess to having a little bit of vocal compression on it, which does not affect the tone of the mic whatsoever. EQ-wise, yeah. nothing but it's just so we don't peak. Essentially, what is a PZM? It's, it's a boundary mic, um, which you put on walls, basically. And uh, um, Oh, I just thought PZM, pressure zone microphone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it stands for. And these were quite fondly found in, where so I? <laughs> <laughs> Police stations. They record on cassettes, and then they tend to have one of them on the wall, just the one. Because they're so bloody good, they pick up every detail. Now, we haven't heard this back yet on video, so we're going to hope that once I've synced the sound and the video together, it's going to sound nice. Um, this we use for bass drums, see, because they're, they're good all rounders. We've not yet used it in the bass drum, have we? No, we'll have to set up a drum kit, and, uh, yeah, we'll have a bit of a play with those. Yeah. Stick it in the bass drum, and the other thing you used it for is overheads, didn't you? Pair of them, yeah, because, okay, you get 120 degrees with an XY set up like that okay one mic's pointing that way one mic's pointing that way to stop them from going out of phase from each other they're one aside they're aside from each other um, but you can actually get if you want a good 360 degree overhead on a drum kit by using the pair of these now i recorded in a studio years ago called diploma in bickenacre champs oh, right. essex cool. and this is what they used they had two fostex 16 track reel to reel synced up which is brilliant and they had literally a pair of these. Hang on a minute. <laughs> and that's staying in the vid, I'm telling you. <laughs> that might chuck up a bit, Si. Oh, I think I just over pushed the boundaries there laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Daddy. <laughs> so what you can do, you can literally take this one there. Now, the way a boundary mic works is that, that my hand represents the wall. That will be fixed on a wall dead flat. And this mic picks up everything from here, from there, and all the way around here. Okay, that's that's how it works. And you'll notice if I turn me back to it, it will get a bit muffly there. But then it'll become much clearer once it's here. Now, if you've got two of them, and you put one facing that way on the back of this, you almost get 360 degrees. And they make a great overhead system. So simple and easy to use. And I suppose the other, only other thing to mention is there's a little box. This has got a AA battery in, and that powers the PZM. So you haven't got to worry about phantom powering. Some desks haven't got 48 volts. Or if, suppose if your camera hasn't got 48 volts, you're, you're a bit stuffed, aren't you? So you're sorted with this because it's just a double A battery. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the PZM microphone. We salute you. And we're so looking forward to watching this back to see how it actually sounds because we haven't tried it yet. So I think this is quite exciting. And if, uh, we all think. Yeah, we, we all. <laughs> what, what do we all think? <laughs> if you've seen the film, put it in the comments. I think. We all <laughs> think. think. Yeah. It's a good. I'll tell you what. They're great. For the money, by the way, we haven't mentioned. You can pick these up on eBay now. If you can get them, by the way, because they're very rare. Between 30 to 50, 60, you might even be paying £100 for one. I'll, I'll tell you what, if you do use them as a pair, they're brilliant for recording acoustic guitar. Very nice for getting the top end. You might need another mic on the base of your guitar, around the body part, just to get the uh, bass. But these will pick up the 
nut and the neck toppiness better than just about anything. Better than the C1000, I guarantee you that. So from this edition of Take the Fear Out of the Gear, it's goodbye from me, Mr. Chumbly Warner. It's goodbye from me, Mr. Jason Bangers, and we would like to say in unison, as we always do, ladies and gentlemen, goodbye. goodbye. Have a great weekend, sunshine. Have a good Easter, yeah. Stay safe, everyone.